the weight room is by far outside of shooting and working on your skill is the most important thing for, for basketball. So when I ask you, what are you doing this summer? Your answer should be lifting first. Once I realized that how much I love basketball and how much this weightlifting will help me improve at basketball, I started to enjoy the weight room and enjoy the hard things and enjoy the process. And once you can start doing that, it, it becomes fun in the weight room because you'll start seeing those those noticeable gains and then you start realizing how much it translates. That's why I always tell my high school kids they want to come in and just shoot the ball. But it, it uh, unfortunately it doesn't go like that. And when they bump off and you know and they're trying to go inside and they bumped off, they get upset. I asked them, hey, have you been lifting? He said no. And, hey, maybe you should start lifting. I kind of realized that the more serious he took the weight room at an earlier date, you know, off the court, the more uh, mature, the more disciplined, and all these things were taught me as a, as a kid that a lot of people didn't learn until they got into high school and started lifting. That I think gave me a really big head start. But through high school, it was every day in season. You know, I, I learned that too from here in early ages that that lift, that 10, 15, 30 minute lift, will, will make you feel 10 times better than you felt before, and especially in season. So I was able to gain 30, 40 pounds from my sophomore season to my junior season, and that's when I really took off. And I, I felt like a man on the court instead of a kid after that year. The only reason I could play as a freshman in college was, was because of the work I put in in the weight room, and here specifically. If you aren't prepared in the weight room, then you're not gonna be able to play it, and the time comes around, your chance is called, and you go down to get a rebound, and a big body hits you, and you go flying. Like, it's the, it's the little things that make differences. It's up there with your skill work is getting in the weight room because at the end of the day, if you can't hold your own on defense, you can't rebound the basketball, you can't set good screens or play physical before you get the ball, it, it's impossible. So you gotta get strong in the weight room, you have to be in shape. Play your ankles and knees. You know how many times they jump a game? Like every single time when you jump, you're putting stress in your knees and ankles. Why not you actually get like stronger on those areas so you can actually play, I don't know, how many games you're trying to play? You know, I wouldn't come here the same place for 12 years if it wasn't what I thought was as close to perfect as it can be, you know. The, the way things are handled here are so professional. There's groups of people, but it, it feels like it's one-on-one -on -one work, you know, they lift you up. I remember being 14, 15, and any dream I had, anyone in the gym would tell you that if you work hard enough, you can get there. And I think that's a very important thing, especially for high schoolers and kids that are just trying to make a dream come true that they might even be too embarrassed to say out loud. It helps a lot to have that positive reinforcement from all these people here.